The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding. This is Proverbs number one. I believe it's important that when we read the the Bible that we that we when we hear the Bible or we, we read it, it's important to see it, to speak it, to hear it. It really helps the senses to really for your spirit to pick up what you're reading <laughs> and get it into your spirit. This is a uh, anyways, the Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtly to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and incre will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay wait for blood, let us look privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow up them alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down into, into the pit. We shall find all precious substance. We shall fill all our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lots among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path. For their feet run to evil, and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood. They lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of every one that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would not of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For the Lord, for they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would not of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Praise God. Well, that's the end of... This is uh, Alexander Scorby's uh, Bible Online. Audio Bible Online. And what I've done is I just don't let the voice speak but I show the words and I speak it. I want to publish the word. So I'm Scott and, and I'm speaking the word and I eventually want to do the whole Bible like this so I can put the word out. And Alexander Scorby's people, they don't mind. So we're going to do this and and they have they don't mind. They want the word to get out. Plus I'm, I'm advertising Alexander Scorby and I'm doing it in a good way. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
I also want to do a, a spiritual 12-step group for all areas of, of dysfunction in people's lives. Alcohol, drugs, anything you can mention, name, that would be something that needs help with. That's what I want to do. I want to help. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Lord. I am experimenting with this, and uh, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it is pretty cool. I think it's awesome. Yeah, I'm just laying here in my bed, reading. Oh, excuse me. Well, we'll get get it right. That's me. Praise God. I just love Jesus, and I just can't help that. So let's just keep doing this, and uh, we'll uh, we'll experiment. And eventually, I'll be my own publishing company for Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus.